Framer has just released their new AI in which you can build a website just by typing a prompt. In today's video, we're going to be writing a text prompt and turning it into a fully functioning website. So this is my first time ever opening Framer. We don't want to do a tour. We're just going to jump straight in. So you guys can see in the middle here, we have a start with AI, this magical looking button. Let's see what pressing this button does. So let's try something like a photography portfolio website for someone called, let's do my brother, dark themed, vibrant images. So this is maybe not the best sort of prompt to use, but we're going to try this out. It's still generating. It didn't work. We're asking too much of OpenAI. Please try again in a minute. Oh, for God's sake. I just want to generate a website. We'll be right back. We're working. Right, it is now generating a website based off of that prompt. So I'm excited to see how this is going to look. Bold choice. So we can change the color palette as we're looking at this. I think we want a dark theme. Pretty sure I did put dark theme in the prompt. So we have a hero section, a little navigation, about section categories or something like that there it's got all the right parts I wouldn't say the design is very unique or particularly that good on Framer University's official YouTube channel they made this sort of introduction tutorial on it and they used this prompt here so let's try that out see if that's going to give us better results so what we need to do is put in our parameters here so portfolio uh, photography portfolio we'll see if this gives us a better result oh this is looking more promising there is something really satisfying about just seeing it come to life so it looks like using that prompt and actually telling it to be a professional web designer that actually helps because this is better right let's play around with color palette for these sections so yeah maybe yeah now there is no interaction and there's only one page here but as at least a base a source of inspiration a structure it's done a pretty good job so we've got these images in here and that's quite clever how not only has it designed it like this but it's it's masked is all it's done it in a clever way I'm gonna change that to photo as well uh, let's play with some of the type. You know, I don't think it's going to be replacing web designers anytime soon. But of all the AI tools so far, this has actually done the best job of creating something that I would say, for the most part, is actually quite usable. If you have no experience whatsoever, you definitely could go to Framer. You could generate a quick website change a few things even if you don't really know what you're doing and you can have a functioning website let's try this with another website that's not a portfolio let's call it a bloomer uh, luxury coffee mug from a company <laughs> called bloomer details and benefits of the mug with a call to action to buy it at the end. Let's see how we get on with this. We're generating. Let's regenerate, because I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that. This is what I like. A pregnant woman. What is the product that we're doing? Oh, a coffee mug. The bloomer. This is looking artistic. This website belongs in a museum. Well, that is a lot of images of people. I'm not sure if AI has read the brief correctly, but there isn't much coffiness going on here. Oh, I changed the skin color of the man. The woman. Wait a minute, this is a pregnant person with a beard. Okay, let's just quickly change the sections on some of these. I don't even like that at all. Let's get rid of that. Bloomer Luxury Coffee Mug. It is cool how it clearly writes you content that is specific to your prompt. 
And here are some testimonials. This mug is absolutely stunning. Coffee has never felt so luxurious. The quality and design of Bloomer cannot be compared. It's a blend of style and practicality that makes it truly unique. Well, I'm sold. That's enough experimenting for today, but my final takeaway thoughts are it does a really good job creating a, a website using AI off of a prompt. It's not an easy thing to do. What they have done is actually the best we have seen so far. Would I use it myself? I don't think I would. Do I think it's gonna replace designers? I don't think it will anytime soon, but I think it could be a good tool for designers and for people who just wanna make their own simple website for themselves. And one of the best things about it, Framer is free to try out. So if you wanna do some of your own experiments, go to framer.com, play with their AI, and uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of it. Is it something you would use? Who do you think it's for? And how do you think it could be improved? Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll catch you guys soon with another video.